Take a selfie app, new voice commands, and getting reassigned. Hi, I'm Rob Onspock from Onspock Media, and welcome to episode 11 of season 2 of What's Trending. If you're just tuning in, what I do is I take some of the trending subjects found on Facebook and give you my spin, my take, my thoughts, my opinion. Well, we got three of them. Let's just jump right in. First one, Google app tells you which famous artwork you look like. It says grab the Monet and go. This app lets you take a selfie, then compares it to thousands of museum paintings. Really? I mean, what's the fascination? So you look like a painting. I mean, is that going to make you more money? Is it going to make you live longer? Is it going to make you, I don't know, enjoy life better, knowing that somehow you compare to some painting that was, I don't know. I don't even know why this is trending. You know, why does Google make these things? Well, you know, it's a free app, but honestly, really. Well, they want you to stay on the Internet longer. So, I guess if you look like a painting, maybe you'll take more selfies. Especially in, you know, when they have that new Google phone. Take a selfie, take a selfie, take a selfie. Whatever. Well, it says uh, Tesla Model 3 software will be completed soon. And new voice command features are coming. Tesla still has a lot of work to do on the Model 3 user interface in order to adapt it to apps or adapt its apps to the new computer and screen. CEO Elon Musk, I always pronounce his name wrong, always, I don't know why, says that it's the software's team current focus. Now, you know, I'm no lawyer. Now, I do do some work for lawyers, and the biggest concern is the entertainment systems that we have in our cars distract us while we're driving. Yeah. And what are they doing? They're making these integrated app consoles even bigger. So what? Now we're going to be able to be distracted. Well, I guess, you know, the new cars are going to be able to self-drive with no steering wheel, no pedal. So... I guess we can just be distracted while it drives all around. Honestly, people, I think we need to get some of the technology out of the cars and pay attention to what we're doing. Just my opinion. But I guess if we did that, we wouldn't sell all these new cars. Well, did you hear what happened in Hawaii? Somebody who had just one job messed up. Yeah. Apparently, someone typed the wrong information in their missile defense alert system and panicked the whole island or all the islands in Hawaii for roughly 38 minutes. And uh, it said there was an incoming missile headed towards Hawaii and everybody should take cover. Well, imagine that. You can't take cover. You're on an island. So people were abandoning their, their cars and they're running off and, you know, to hide. Well, then they came back and said, oh, we're sorry, it was a mistake. Now the whole nation or the whole island of Hawaii, all those islands, they're not going to, they're not going to have any type of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not going to believe in the system now. Yeah. Well, it says the person who sent Hawaii's false missile alert has been reassigned. Really? Reassigned? They should be fired. But apparently they don't do that there. It says they're in a role that does not provide access to the warning system. Yeah. Oh, well. What are you going to do? You know, you, you panic a whole island of people, probably millions of people, put them all in a tizzy for 38 minutes, and then you come back and say, oh, yeah, it was a false alarm. Go back to your normal lives. And we're just going to reassign this person. Yeah. They'll find a way to screw that job up, too. Just my opinion. Anyway, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about what I do and how I help my clients build trust with their audience, visit me at onspockmedia.com. Well, that's it for the show. Thanks for watching. Tune in for future episodes. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Adios.